So who is Sean Vasquez? I am a veteran, I'm a pro bodybuilder, I'm a Texan, but most importantly, I'm a dog dad. No, I'm joking. Uh, I'm a father and a husband, and those two things I take great pride in. So bodybuilding for me was interesting. It gave me the ability to start to act on a lot of those attributes that I gained while I was in the Army. The main one being discipline, right? I was addicted to the transformation. I was addicted to the outcome, you know, doing well. Who doesn't, who doesn't love to win? You have to dig your heels in, and you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, and being in the element, and not missing your training, not missing your meals, like I've said and being extremely disciplined day in and day out. So it leads us to where we are now with pride. There's a trend with me. I try to extract the positive attributes that I've gained in those situations and bring them with me here and that my family can be part of because we are a family owned and operated business. And I will continue to do that with pride so that wherever life takes me, I can still live with pride. So I was born and raised in a small community, very small town in Southeast Texas. After high school, I joined the Army. I had the privilege to serve in the 101st Airborne Division in Fort Campbell, Kentucky. So there are a lot of things that I'm able to extract from the Army and from my experience there and use it. And it, it helped me in college. It helped me in bodybuilding. It's helping me now as an entrepreneur and more importantly as a father. You'll, you know, you hear a lot of people cutting corners, eating more or eating less, not doing, you know, maybe the cardio training they're supposed to, whatever it is, right? Making excuses. So after four years in the Army, I found myself back in Texas where I attended the University of North Texas in Denton. And uh, it was there that I earned my bachelor's degree in health education, health promotion. Very interested in, in, in weight training, resistance training, health and fitness and I uh, ended up doing my first bodybuilding competition there uh, while I was attending school and did rather well for my first competition and as they say, the bug bit me. That was the highlight of the weekend for me, uh, being able to share that moment with all the friends and family. And do my pro debut, something that I never thought would be possible. The kind of a dream or a goal that I set to myself and didn't tell anybody a long time ago and just put my nose down. And uh, every so often I'd look up to see where I was. And I wasn't there yet and I'm still not, so I put my nose back down and get my ass to work and that's what we did. We choose to do this to ourselves. We choose to put ourselves through this and we came ready to rock and we'll be out there ready to have a damn good time. So the, a lot of those attributes that I picked up while I was in the Army, you know, allowed me to continue to have those successes in bodybuilding, which ultimately even led me into a career into sports nutrition. I was actually a, a sales manager for the Southwest region which is a lot, has a lot to do with where I am today because of the relationships, um, the things that I learned working for that company. Uh, a lot of those attributes I was able to extract and use them uh, with pride today. So during the time that I was competing in 2016, I embarked on a journey to compete at the NPC Nationals in Miami, where I won the heavyweight class as well as the overall. It is the most prestigious and most competitive amateur bodybuilding show in the US 
you, you don't just win amongst a few you know guys here and there. You win against guys that have won in their state and their region at the local level. To win against them, there are no shortcuts. It's not just the, the weeks leading up into the contest, it's years. It's not missing meals, not missing training, making sure rest and recovery is in, is in line. It's constant and consistent. And, and I have a saying where I like to say, I learned in the Army is, is you dig your heels in. And with something like that, it's a long-term goal. Just as businesses, you have to dig your heels in and you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable and being in the element and absorbing that and being okay with that and not missing your training, not missing your meals, like I've said, and being extremely disciplined day in and day out. Because if I didn't, somebody else would have. Winning nationals was like a switch. In my head, I was, all that I put into it, I realized like, okay, you can have what you're willing to work for. So it leads us to, to where we are now with, with pride. Every situation, life experience that I've been in, try to extract these positive attributes that are gonna help me make progress and you know, help me in the next chapter of my life. And that's where we are. So the discipline, the integrity, the bringing the human aspects and personal touch to it, that's where we are with pride. It's the same thing that I wanna deliver with pride. All of those great attributes that uh, have been afforded to me, I want to bring them to the company and to the products and to the consumers, to you. And I will continue to do that with pride so that wherever life takes me, I can still live with pride.